Let me tell you something. This here, right now, at this very moment, is all that matters to me. Someone asked me the other night what my biggest fear is. And I've never really had a good answer for it, but my answer was that all this is for nothing. Kind of the idea that like one day life ends and it just all goes black. And I guess that question like sent me, you know, obviously deep into a spiral of thought. And it makes me think about my life and how surreal it feels at times. Me playing out my ideal life. And uh, yeah, that, that concept has stuck with me for a lot of years. I mean, it feels like reality, it feels tangible, but I definitely want it sometimes. Yo, what up fam, welcome back to my channel. We headed to New York for New York Fashion Week. If y'all watched my like Paris Fashion Week recap video, you know I lost my camera on that trip so this is a new trip we on some positive vibes it's not gonna happen this time and i'm gonna take y'all with me you know kind of show y'all from my point of view my lens through my experience this trip a little different for me uh we working uh we always working but even when it looked like we haven't just having fun we working but we shooting my new release for no one's ordinary this weekend in new york um, it took a lot to like orchestrate, you know, the people, the locations, the time, all that. Um, <laughs> a lot been going into, you know, making sure we're able to get who we need and what we need to be able to execute this. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited uh, to, you know, be traveling. Toby gonna be out there with me. And, you know, it's amazing because I remember like a year, year and a half ago, I was talking to Toby and I was like, you know, this is what, this is what the vision looked like, you know, um, the future looked like us going, you know, to these different places and shooting stuff out there in these places and working and traveling and, you know, like on ground building community with people and stuff. And, you know, to just fast forward, we live in it, you know, and I can't do nothing but just be grateful. Thank God for it. This is the first one, first of many. It's going to be a great time. We're going to catch some vibes. We gonna drip, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna be fly. But yeah, I'm about to board this flight. Talk to y'all when I touch down. Recording. Yeah. <laughs> what up, bro? How was the flight? Smooth. Just touched down. First day. What? Yep. About to go scout the location where we shooting it. Make sure everything is good and as planned. We shooting like two days. So before we get into anything else, gotta handle the business first. It's straight. It's all Mulberry. All the corners like that, you know? To a certain degree. It's just kind of like choosing which one we like best, you know? It's the next street over. It's the market. Yeah. We just got to the area in Soho of Mulberry where we're gonna be shooting. All the stuff we're gonna be shooting at this smoothie shop. It's called Buy a Bar. And we're gonna be shooting at this market over here called Mulberry Market. So we just came to check what it's gonna look like, where we're gonna shoot it from, angles, all of that stuff, what the crowd look like out here. How you feel about like the locations? Yeah. Like 
what all we should do. Oh yeah, we supposed to go walk to find like other spots, right? Bro, it's like so good. <laughs> Which one you got? Do these one day. It's crazy that shit can change the year. Yeah. But think about it, like shit can change in way less than a year, you know? Man, shit could change in a day. That's how crazy it'd be like. And when I say change in a day, like something could happen a day. That'd be the start for the next thing to happen, for the next thing to happen, for the next thing to happen. And then you look up and it's just like, oh, it's been a hell of a year. Bro, the stuff we're gonna shoot out here, I ain't gonna lie, that shit gonna be epic. Like, it's gonna be live. Like, you're gonna see the elevation from like previous drop. You're gonna be able to feel it, you know what I'm saying? Doubling down on, you know, more what we pushing, you know what I'm saying? Like, clarity behind that. Like, what does this lifestyle look like, you know? Like, and like, who is the people? that exist in this world that's living this lifestyle. And then we're also building relationships too, so. Yeah, cause once they get around us, catch the vibe, the energy, level of professionalism, the taste level, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of it, and it's just like, oh, this shit really good, this shit actually cool, this, all of it, and it's gonna be like, all right, nah, 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 I'm fucking with this, you know? I'm vouching for this. Oh, my boy. Good to see you. What's up, bro, Huey? Uh, Dirty. Nice to meet you. Love, what you got going? Bro, super busy out here, bro. Yeah. Running around and shit. This my boy Toby. Bro, Kyrie, nice to meet you. Of course. Nardi. Man, we just we landed. A couple hours ago. Okay, good. Just, just got out here. Outside already. Yeah, got to. Yeah. Got to. We fresh off the plane, straight to the room, dropped the bags, didn't even change, and just let's get out in the streets. Make it happen. But nah, we came out here. We uh shooting my next drop out here on Sunday. Nice. So that's like the main focus on um, one to three on Sunday. I got we're a shooting uh, that. photo shoot from 12 to 4. Nah, you good. We uh, planned it out back when we was in the H, got everybody, got the locations and all that. So we just came out here, be where I'm supposed to be, you know, shoot what I got to do, get back to it. What you want for the rest of the day? I'm, uh, I'm about to go to another borough right now. I'm going to yeah. the Bronx. Uh -huh. I gotta go do a drop off for this designer right here. Yeah. We having like a huge runway show tomorrow uh -huh. that I'm directing back yeah. on stage. Yeah. So, um, got like dresses, uh -huh. uh, back of house floaters and stuff like that. Uh -huh. like, gotta organize that whole show tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. What that's at? Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a Midtown area, like Midtown. 23rd Street. Uh -huh. 23rd Man, Street, I'm right? from Texas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's a we little need bit, addresses. It's a little yeah. bit further up this way. Yeah. You know, uh, not too far from here, but. Yeah. Man. It's gonna be a movie. We got like mad celebrities we styling mm -hmm. and, and everything. It's packed out. Over nah, that's good. Coming, How so. you feeling? You excited? I'm super excited, but I can't wait for it to be over too. Yeah. Because it was so stressful to get to this point. Yeah. I mean, the you care. The runway is gonna be beautiful. For yeah. Us. I began emotional about that shit. Every yeah. time I see like all the work we put in, yeah. like, it's finally on the floor, and then packing up after yeah. is another thing in yeah. itself. Like, and then being able to celebrate it all at the yeah, end of the night. Yeah, bro. But yeah. it's all a blessing. Like, yeah. 
four years into the game, I didn't see myself being here, bro. Mm -hmm. What's up, bro? I'm here now. It's happening. You know, nah, that's beautiful. It's God, bro. From from Paris back to New York. Yeah. I was gonna go to London uh, next week, mm -hmm. but my friends doing a presentation here. Mm -hmm. so I'm staying for that. Yeah, you're gonna be out there in January, though. Huh? I'm going in. Uh, well, men's men's is in January, right? Yeah. I probably go from February for women's. For women's? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go out there. The plan right now is to do like a kind of like a Europe kind of like tour. Mm -hmm. So I'll go out there January for Paris and then also, you know, Milan right before yeah, that a couple days. Cool. Do Milan, then Paris, and then jump on the, because it's only an hour and a half train ride to London. Do that. So do that. Just hit all of them, because Paris, I know it, I know what Paris did yeah. for you. That tapped you in, <laughs> yeah, like, globally. That, I like no law, bro, that shit was crazy. Yeah, that's, like, that's what I'm telling him. I was like, bro, when I, I went to Paris on my ones, mm -hmm. one deep. And that shit just like, you know, niggas be putting it on, put like, it on. and it came correct though. So yeah. For me, you, you yeah. Know what you need to do. And that shit gone attention grabbing, yeah, people coming up to you, now, now, air people know you connected with you all over the place. So now when nigga go back this time, that's my first time. Yeah, that was your first, my time? first time? Too, yeah. Oh yeah, so you know how it is. Next time you go out there, it's like, bro, it's I, love out there too. I opened up my, uh, my email yesterday, bro. Yeah. You got invites to Paris already. Yeah. For London already, I'm like, damn. I'm sorry, I can't even make it this yeah. season because it's like, I want to go to every fashion week. Yeah. Now. I'm getting invited to shit even to Japan, bro. Yeah. So it's like, it's crazy. Nah, so, it's amazing, not crazy. Like it's, it's, it's supposed to be happening. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't surprised. It's like happening. crazy though. Yeah. You feel me? Like we love control chaos. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what the fashion industry is. Yeah. Control chaos. Yeah. It's never gonna be like, you know. It's never gonna be a smooth sailing, yeah. you know, every time, bro. Mm -hmm. There's always gonna be some obstacle you gotta go over, yeah. or like something you gotta improvise with. So, so, and that's just life in general. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, that's good, bro. You got to, uh, you finish, you say you finish it to the Bronx? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to go to the Bronx right now. Man, it's good yeah, seeing bro, you. I ain't want to hold you up. Of course, bro. You know, I know I'll probably see you before we get up nah, out of here. bro. Of course. Love, bro. Of course. Blessings yeah. tomorrow. That's a fact. So. Walk down and then walk walk to the you're right. Day two. What up y'all? We're a little behind on the filming. So I bet we had a rough start to the morning. I had bought this shirt that I got on from the brand House of Eras. I ordered it. I bought it for it to be shipped to me. But they shipped it a little slower than I would have liked so it didn't arrive in time my bad I left my mic at the hotel but it didn't arrive in time so I had to fit for it I'll show y'all the fit yeah so I had already had to fit for it and I was like I seen it was selling some of the pop-up here so I was like all right I'm gonna buy it again because I couldn't compromise the fit it worked out though, they had like a 50% off sale today. So when I pulled up, I got the shirt for half off, the fact that I bought two. But it was worth it. I had to get the fit off. And that's the thing. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Not even sometimes. You just gotta do what you gotta do to get the fit off. I'm not telling you to do anything illegal. And I'm not telling you to harm anybody. But sometimes you gotta sacrifice. You me? Sometimes you gotta sacrifice. It, it's all about how much it means to you, you know? Like most people wouldn't have bought the same shirt twice, $200 shirt, but this mean that much to me. It mean that much for me to come out here to New York wearing a 20 year old sneaker, you know? Brazil Air Force One. And I gotta get the perfect fit off. So I had to get this Brazil top and then I had to get this bag to match. It's just all of it, it really matter. That is that serious. It means that much. It means that much. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> what up, y'all? I left my mic at the hotel. I was loud. They all just kind of <laughs> I wasn't talking to y'all. I was talking to my YouTube family. We had this place called Pasta de Pasta, some place I found on TikTok. They got like $10 pasta, build your own. Look cool. So we pulled up. I'm gonna let y'all know. I'll be on my keep lead. What you ordered, Toby? I ain't got the design y'all went. Um, Good choice. Pesto and mixed with red sauce chicken. Now we got the beef. I'll watch you something. You know, like, you know how your parents tell you to put your elbows on the table? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That used to be a thing because that's how they used to eat. Like, you get this card, so you're doing this, you're getting somebody else in the yeah. But, like, you don't live like that. It made me think about all this shit that they tell you to do. To, like, oh, it's just whatever, but it's like, that's not the reason why. Yeah. I was like, it's comfortable to do. I was like, this place probably the best just to get plain out for you know, right? right. I have to clean this element in there. Uh, who decides war? They got a, the show is tomorrow, but they got an event with Complex today. We're just gonna pull up, you know how this shit go. I'm gonna get there, just follow my lead. I'm gonna walk in with the aggression. My boy came straight from Paris. <laughs> from Paris, friends. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling, bro? Good, Day two. Day two. Yeah. This water. <laughs> hey, that nigga not drinking water. <laughs> hey, I'm 100% drinking water. He's drinking water, he's drinking water. So all the partnership, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. What up, YouTube? What up, guys? This was like the highlight of Fashion Week for me. I walked into this complex event and this dude behind me just randomly said, Huey. And I turned around, I didn't know him, I was like, what's up? And he came to me, he told me, he was like, you know, I watch you on YouTube. And he just told me a couple things, you know, about how I inspire him and et cetera, et cetera. And that just like, that shocked me, to be honest. Because so, you never know, like, we kind of get in our heads when it comes to like posting content. At least I'll say I do. But you never know who watching and you never know what it's doing for other people. But I put some of the clip in here and yeah, man, just post your content. You know, you never know who it's going to reach and what it's going to do for those that they come across. It's dark in here, but bro, maybe from YouTube. Yeah. Uh, bro. For real, bro. Hey. bro, keep doing what you're doing, because you yeah. will. You on the page, sir. It's five and niggas yeah. and niggas. When niggas got the thing, it got the shit they into, either sell drugs, go to school, or do something that they really want to do. Like, like, niggas really want to do that. So, watching you work, that, that's enough niggas for me to be like, well, I can do that for real. Yeah. <laughs>
a wrap for day two. We headed back. We can call it home. Headed home, headed to the hotel. We just ate at this spot called Lagos. It's a Nigerian Fire. restaurant lounge. Fire. 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 I ain't recording there because it just wasn't that type of vibe. Bro got him some ice cream. The dessert, you know I mean? In the night, we're gonna sleep good. We gotta get up in the morning. Hard day Let's see if, We'll see if he get up in the morning. Yeah, I'm all bright and early, baby. Today was like the first full day since yesterday we got out here. It was good though, we did a ton, as you can see. It was good though, looking forward to, we got one more day before we shoot the stuff for No One's Ordinary on Sunday. Today was Friday, tomorrow Saturday. A couple of things we're gonna do, a couple of places we're gonna go, make our rounds. If y'all, at this point right now, you seeing this, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Click the subscribe button right now. I mean, you already here anyway. <laughs> might as well. I mean, yeah, you got this far. You might as well. I mean, we locked in. Ain't like, ain't like we not locked in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't like we not locked in. But if we not locked in, let me know. That's the wrap. Y'all have a good night. See y'all tomorrow. Uh.